what's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Just got the baby down for sleep, so uh, I'm gonna try to be concise with this video. So it's been about a year since I've been vegan. My wife and I have been vegan, and I wanted to do this video. I feel like it's important to share. I just remember before I went vegan, I was searching all over the place for videos just like this one, and uh, hi, car. I wanna share with you um, what has my experience been being vegan for an entire calendar year. So here we go, without further ado, here we go. So, about a year ago, I became vegan. I, I, like many of you who are vegan, maybe you, you watched the, the documentary, What the Health, and it scared you enough to, to research it yourself and look into everything. Anyways, I've been vegan for a year. And for me, the, the biggest and the most obvious thing that happened was I dropped a lot of weight. Uh, before being vegan, I was pushing 220 pounds. I, I remember my highest weight was 217. Now I'm down to 175. And the reason is because I changed my diet. I changed the way that I ate. I Now, the caveat being that I wasn't super healthy, a super healthy eater before going vegan, so it was a pretty dramatic change. I mean, I remember there'd be days where my only vegetable would maybe be corn with supper or green beans. I didn't eat a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. I ate a lot of garbage, a lot of junk food. So when I switched to be a plant-based, when I switched to be vegan, I eliminated a lot of the junk foods that I was used to. So I had to find other ways to replace those calories. I started eating a lot of carrots and celery and hummus and stuff like that to replace the snacky junk food that I would eat. And it really, it really did um, affect me in an obvious way. And it's the most obvious for people who know me, they can see the effects of that. So that's one I'm the most proud of because it's such a it's such an obvious like you can tell. Like you can tell that some thing something changed with me. Another big change that I noticed was my energy level. Since going vegan, my energy level is way higher, way up. On a day-to-day -day basis, I just have more energy. I, I don't have to drink as much coffee. I just feel a lot better overall. And the reason I think is because the food that I'm eating is calorie rich like it's not empty calories i don't drink a, i don't drink a lot of pop i don't eat a lot of stuff that that doesn't do anything for my body so the calories that i am putting in my body are working for me and they're giving me the energy that i need so with losing weight and having more energy i just feel overall like a better version of myself another interesting thing that's happened since i've been vegan is the when i get like a common cold they don't seem to last as long or be as annoying or as harsh so I feel like it, the cold, you know, the cold cycle where you start to feel like you have a cold, then you have a cold, then you have a runny nose for a while. I feel like I've, I skipped a couple of those stages and just kind of just had it for a few days and then it was gone. So my overall immune system seems to be a little bit higher as well. Now I, I, I don't know how much that has to do with what I'm not eating, not eating meat and dairy but more what I am eating. Lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of beans, lots of vitamin C through all kinds of stuff that I'm eating. I'm getting a lot of the vitamins. And so when I went vegan, I made sure that I, I did some research and I figured out how to make sure that I'm getting all the nutrients that I need. So that, that's a huge part of it is you can go vegan by eating Oreos and bananas and french fries and spaghetti every day, but you're not gonna be getting all the nutrition that you need. So I did some research and I made sure that I'm getting enough vit vitamin B12 through uh, supplements or coconut milk has B12 in it. All the all the little nutrients I'm trying to get. Now my diet's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. As for my wife Kristen, before she went vegan, she actually had a really bad eczema. Her hands would break out really bad, probably two or three times a year. But since going vegan, she actually hasn't had any eczema. Completely gone, no eczema whatsoever. So that's the physical stuff, which is I think the most obvious and the, and the most probably the things that you could probably guess by somebody eating a healthier lifestyle, it's like, oh yeah, go figure, they're gonna feel better and look better. Well, another thing that I didn't quite, wasn't quite prepared for is the psychological aspect of going vegan. A vegan diet is such a huge departure from the regular American diet that when you decide to go vegan, you're going against like your entire culture, most likely. Everybody around you is gonna eat meat and dairy and everybody around you is gonna constantly be asking why you're not having the meat or why you're not eating the cheese. And you have to answer for it again and again and again. And it does get easier. My family members have backed off a lot with the funny you jokes in the comments. In fact, many of my family members are very supportive and when we have family get togethers, they'll make something that we can eat. But the big tip that I have for that, family get togethers is Make something that you can eat and bring it to share with everybody else, especially if it's like a dessert, 
because then you can trick people into eating vegan things and they won't even know it. So the psychological aspect of being vegan is you have to deal with being different. You have, you have to be willing to stand out because it's very hard. I mean, people are going to notice that when you go to a family get together, you have like the relish tray on your plate and that's it. Like it's, it's very obvious and it, it's, it's hard to sort of blend in. So if you're going vegan, you have to be okay with standing out and being different, which I'm obviously okay with, but that can be hard for somebody who doesn't really want to be seen or wants to just kind of fly under the radar. You're constantly have to ask, you're constantly having to answer for it. So make sure that you make sure that you have your facts and you have your numbers and you can explain to somebody why you chose to be vegan, whether or not it was for your health, or the environment or for the animals have some good reasons behind it they don't have to agree with your reasons but have more to say than just say have more to say than just i watched a documentary and it convinced me have have some facts and numbers to back it up or just simply tell them your belief system and it should back them off the hardest part about being vegan has been really going out to eat just because of the lack of restaurants that we have in my area i live in rural ohio and so there's not a lot of options. Now, if I lived out in LA or somewhere like that, yeah, I'd probably have a lot more options available to me. But when Kristen and I are also trying to live the minimalist lifestyle, shrink our spending and live a more simple life, that, it kind of goes hand in hand. We don't go out to eat a whole lot. So people know that, friends and family know that, and we have a restaurants that we can go to and we have our go-to items at those restaurants. Once we got into a routine and a rhythm and got our staple meals down, it really became easy and it just became a habit like anything else. So we started, we got a few breakfast items that we enjoy to eat. We have a few different lunch options and about five, six, seven staple supper meals. Throw in some snack options and you get into that routine and it becomes habit and you don't even have to think about it anymore. You already know at the grocery store that you can get, you get your same items. And when you wanna get a little bit fancy, just Google search or search on YouTube for interesting or unique ideas for vegan options. It's really not, it's honestly not as hard as I thought it was gonna be, you know, I mean, I try to keep it very simple with meals and I have a playlist on my channel here, uh, all the, some of the vegan meals that we make that I try to keep super simple, cheap and easy if you wanna check those out. Just did one on my black bean burgers that I like to make and like I said, just making it habit and routine and sticking to it, um, just making it a thing that you do, like really committing to it. The way that I was able to commit to it and not sort of slip, because many people who try something new will slip back on, on, on to their old patterns, was I made sure that when I went vegan, it was actually vegan for, for all three reasons, which was I wanted to go vegan to change my health, to be a healthier person. I wanted to go vegan because I know how much the meat industry hurts the environment. And three, I wanted to go vegan because, I don't know, call me weird, but I really don't like the factory farming industry and the suffering that it causes. So when I really solidified my, my reasons for being vegan, I can honestly say that I haven't really been all that tempted. Sure, there's foods that I miss. I miss being able to just go out to eat pretty much anywhere because I'm not a very picky eater. But I never really am tempted to eat anything that's non-vegan just because when I do, I think about the impact that that might have on my health or the environment or the, the animals. So will I ever go back to eating the way I did before I went vegan? And the answer is an astounding no. I just, I don't see myself ever eating meat or dairy again. I just, I don't see the reason. After going an entire year without it and being healthy and happy, I have no reason to ever go back. I'm getting enough protein, I'm getting all the nutrients that I need and I feel better than I've ever felt before. So, I don't know if you're thinking about going vegan. If you're watching this, maybe you might be, you might have some interest in it. And here's my final thing that I'll say to you. If you're not happy with your health, if you're overweight, if you don't move the way that you used to move, if you are having other health issues, whether it be with your heart, or whether it be with your cholesterol, or whether it be with stamina or whatever, I highly urge you to give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? You'll probably feel better and lose some weight. That's probably what's gonna happen. And it, I have a video on my channel called the 30 Day Vegan Challenge where I outline, I'll link it up, I outline all the meals that Kristen and I eat. So to make it even easier on you, we sort of do a, like a nonchalant sort of impromptu meal planning for you with it. So if you're interested, I urge you, please give it a try. Um, if, if for nothing else, do it for your health. Uh, it's eating plants is good for you. That's the overstatement of the day, I think. So don't get discouraged if it's tough at first. New things always take time to adapt to, 
But yeah, I, I mean, I've never felt better. And I just want to shout out from the rooftops. I owe it all to my vegan way of living and, and my vegan diet. So if you found this helpful at all, please like it. If uh, you think somebody else needs to hear this message, share it with them. Share it with an enemy as well. Maybe, maybe they'll uh, also change their ways. Find your gift, share it with the world, and remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow. Ugh.